Is this a dream? Not quite, Murphy. Then you're the... the big P.I. in the sky? That's right, Murphy. But now is not the time for you to be here. There is a vast and malignant evil at work on the Earth, and fate, for some reason that even I cannot fathom, has chosen you to oppose it. But why me? I'm no more thrilled about it than you are. Nevertheless, your fate has been decided. You really got a hit on the head. Remember me? Your old pal, Huck? Seriously, you look clueless. Uh, who or what are you? Jeez, how hard did you hit your head? Well, let me reintroduce myself. I'm your smart Alex, your personal assistant version 1.5, fashioned three years ago in a factory with truly horrible working conditions. <laughs> you don't want to know. I'm your trusty tech-savvy sidekick, whose primary functions include travel agent, inventory tracking and analysis, investigative advice, case notes, and I'm also a confidant and a best buddy, you gigantic oaf. Remember? Not really. Would you like a tutorial on my usage? Article on the Russian white movement. Am I truly so bored I'm reading Russian history? Hmm. No messages on the vid phone. On Saturday nights, I push the furniture to the walls and cut loose on the dance floor. Looks like somebody's wiped my computer clean. One of my golf partners. Old bogey, we call him. What on earth is this amount of cash doing in my office? If someone was trying to hire me to do something, probably wasn't legal. I better put this away until I know exactly why it's here. Yeah, no detective worth his salt would be without a fax machine. It's a note from my old friend Archie Ellis. Apparently he's out of town doing some research. When he returns, I'll need to ask him about the case we're working on. I see my credenza is still keeping dust off the floor. shell casings and a shot-out window above the electronic shop. I know I'm involved, but how? 
I should investigate the area and then find out if anybody else heard the commotion. Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. I need to find out what happened to Chelsea. That's an empty vial.
Maybe I should go find Louie. You shouldn't go drinking without me. Next time, call me and we'll get sloshed together. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm late. I got a new extension at work. I'll send it to your smart Alex. Please, go see Dr. Donahue at the North Hill Clinic. Call me after and tell me what she says about that noggin of yours. See you, Uncle Louie. Uh, see you, Kayla. Ah, oh, Mr. Mighty. What are you doing here? Louie, you look great. Uh, I hardly recognized you. I mean, how did you lose so much weight so fast? Was it some sort of hypo-lipo session? I've been this weight for some time now. You just never noticed. Hey, tell me who that woman was who just left here. And why does she act like she knows me? Why you gotta be like that? You know Taylor. A little too well, you ask me. You drunk again? I told you. You ain't allowed in here. You've been drinking. I am stone cold sober. Other than my head, I feel totally normal. It's everything else that's weird. What happened to your head? I don't know. I woke up on the fire escape. I go into my apartment and everything is different. The street, Chelsea's newsstand, you, everything is completely different. I mean, I don't know whether I'm tripping here or having a bad dream or something. What's the last thing you remember uh, before you woke up? Uh, I don't know, but something with Chelsea. Chelsea? What day do you think it is? No, hold on. What year do you think it is? <sighs> what year? Are you serious? It's 2043. Oh, jeez. Look at that calendar. Over there? On the fridge? 2050. What the hell's going on here? Last night, Chelsea and I went to the Golden Pagoda. I think the wording was uh, very, very attractive. Oh, no! What? It's me. Look, somebody has stolen our car. I mean, here I am, my speeder's stolen out here, I'm sitting on a great... Ah! Oi! Uh, would you guys like to lift to the cop shop? No, we'll walk. He's really just trying to do us a favor. Chelsea, I'm getting a really bad feeling about this. It's like some sort of deja vu. The Fabergé World Tour The most exotic and exquisite exhibit. Who's your mate? Oh, that's Tex. He's having a very bad day. That's right, Tex? Oh, no. Everything's just going peachy. Well, things could get worse, huh? He shot me. He, he shot both of us. He shot me. There's nothing. Why isn't there anything? That's what I'm trying to tell you, Mike. It wasn't last night. It was seven years ago. What the hell is that? It looks like you got injected with something. Maybe that's what's messing with your head. Maybe it's that goose egg. Either way, buddy, you gotta see a doctor. Your niece, Taylor, she said something about a, a doctor at the North Hill Clinic? Ah, Kate Donahue. She's a friend of Taylor's. She's real good. I'll bet she could fix you up. <sighs> I hate doctors, but I guess I should go get this chat out. There's anything seriously wrong. You should be driving in your condition. I'll call you a cab. It sure is good to hold me back. Oh, I don't mind. I missed you, Mike. We don't just anymore. I've been good about cleaning things up. I have no idea who would have been doing the shooting. 
wouldn't take it. Cliff's done a real nice job, don't you think? Good to see the neighborhood getting fixed up. I don't got a ladder. You might want to check at the Golden Gate Hotel. They've been doing a bunch of renovations. I, I like that Archie fella. Real friendly. Don't always understand what he's talking about, but hey, different strokes for different folks, right? Oh, me? I'm just the same as always. Just a little less of me than I used to be. Yeah, nice to have some fresh blood here on Chandler Avenue. Not really the kind of place I do a lot of shopping at, but uh, some folks seem to like it fine. I forget. You don't remember nothing about Taylor. She works for the Bay City Mirror, does a lot of investigations, and she's a real peach. Sweet, smart, funny. I wasn't too happy that you and her were spending time together, but maybe she was seeing through all that tough guy stuff. She's good that way. You know, I love Chelsea like she was my own daughter. I still miss her, even after all this time. I wish I could get everything you can't remember, but I don't know much. You and Chelsea went missing, and then you showed up out of nowhere a few weeks later. A couple of days after, you was gone again. I only saw you a few times after that. A couple of years went by, and then you came back, and something bad had happened to you. I don't know what, but it made you hard and mean. And you just got worse. I got to where I didn't even want you around anymore. I can't go to the North Hill Clinic. Not now. I need to investigate the crime scene to find out what happened before the police arrive. I'm <laughs> 